Business is buzzing for pest controllers in Whitehorse. It's been overwhelming with stinging insects. It has been uh, def definitely doubled my calls. For Calvin Gillings, this is the fifth call of the day, and it's not even noon. At this Whitehorse residence, two breeds of wasp have made nests. These aren't any ordinary hornets. They're mean, territorial, and aggressive. Yellow jackets have found a safe place in this unused barbecue. What are we looking at? Is it the same kind of species? So that is actually um, a bald-faced hornet, and they're known to be a bit more aggressive than the yellow jackets. Mm -hmm. And uh, you notice their nests are kind of away from each other, and they're, they're not really within sight of the other nests, so because they are territorial. And they're, they're choosing that spot because of the raspberry bushes, more than likely, keep close vicinity of their food source. Since mid-July, when Yukon temperatures rose above normal, Yukoners had been seeing a flurry of wasps. Wasps and hornets are highly territorial and are carnivores. They go for an air, a small, small, almost microscopic spider that the um, these stinging insects are feeding on. And that's a piece of fish. Nicole Smith used a piece of salmon to show how bad these hornets were on her property. Extreme. Um, they went. They go right in your face. Uh, they're all over the place. We tried cutting a fish outside, and my uh, uh, was it my uncle or my cousin? One of them got stung like four times trying to cut that one fish and then they're like okay forget this we're going inside and all these species they have to be in the nest by nightfall if they don't make it in the nest they will die Gillings uses a powdered insecticide and within 48 hours the hornet should be dead along with their larvae the next year's crop and with cooler nights in the forecast it won't be long before these stingers disappear and all is back to normal Shirley McLean, APTN National News, Whitehorse.